What is up, everybody? Jens back with another video for you guys. And today I'm going to be doing a, another tier ranking list kind of video. If you guys haven't been noticing, if you guys have been following the show, which I really, really appreciate the support. Small time YouTuber, man. So any support is really, really appreciated. Um, you guys know that I've been individually ranking each song from a album lately. And I've been doing uh, Black Belt Brides. I got the first four records done, the first four that I'm most familiar with so far. Honestly, I had to go through Veil again. I've only listened to that album like twice in my life. So keep that in mind as well. That'll eventually get out for you guys as well. And like I said, any support is really appreciated. If you guys have any suggestions that you want me to, any kind of reactions you want me to do or anything, it doesn't matter how big the artist is. I will really honestly listen to just about any genre. I particularly prefer metal and rock videos, but we can go into blues. We can go into r and I don't really care. Just let me know, guys. If you guys like the videos so far, that would be much, much, much appreciated. And I just like going through my favorite bands. That's basically what I've been talking about lately, like Avenged Sevenfold and Black Veil Brides. I guess Xandra is one of my favorite all-time bands. And they are the reason, well, not the reason, but they're one of the reasons that I do this music thing. Today, we're going to start off with their first record, Stand Up and Scream. And I believe this album was released in 2010, 2009-ish. Can't remember exactly when um, I'm doing this all off the cuff, so bear with me on that as well. And this was their first major release ever. I don't think they actually released a full-length record before this as Ask Andrew. I think they might have just released singles and maybe an EP. And they released this off of Samirian Records, which is still the record label they're a part of today. And this is a very, very groundbreaking album, whether you like it or not. So yeah, I'm not going to really take up too much of your time with this introduction and we're going to get right into what i think about standing up a scream okay so before we hop into this ranking i'm just going to show you guys how i rank everything if you guys are familiar with the videos it's not really anything too different from before awful i think you guys know what that means meh okay bronze is good but not absolutely outstanding and then silver is like great but not quite superior like gold so I think that's pretty straightforward, guys. And we're going to have all the songs in just one list here. First and foremost, I, I believe this is actually in order. It, it looks like it actually is. Uh, Larry On, at least, is the opening track on this record. And then the final episode is the second. Uh, Larry On. Uh, so this is, an well, actually, it's not an instrumental track at all, actually. It's just, like, more or less an intro track. But it does have some vocals in it. They're all just screamed. Cross my heart and I hope you die. Left by the roadside, he basically repeats over a breakdown. But it starts out with this really cool trancey intro. Like, I'm not big on, like, electronic music and whatnot. But, like, when it comes to, like, trance music and metal like this just fused in, it's it's really, really freaking cool to me. And this was one of the first bands that actually got me into this kind of style, this trance post-hardcore kind of vibe. And it turns into, like, a kind of a punky part. Then it... Then it builds up, builds up, and goes into like a breakdown. This track overall, I I, I think is is, it's it's definitely not gold. I, I would just put it in bronze. I like it, but I don't I don't think it's like a superior song or a great song necessarily. I think it's just a really if you're talking about intros for an album, I think it's really 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 top tier. And then the final episode. This was one of the first songs I heard by them actually. This was probably the third song or second song I heard by them ever. So this is like the second or third song I heard by them and. I'll be honest, like, actually, when I first heard this band, I actually wasn't really into them at all. I really did not understand it. And I'll get to the song that actually got me into them further down the list. And it's not the final episode, but this is uh, maybe, like, the second or third song I ever heard by them that I can recall. And for some reason, I was just into it this time around. And, um, yeah, this song is really, like, one of their first, like, real big hits. And... It would definitely go into silver or gold for me. I'm just going to say silver. It's a good song, but it's just, it's not superior compared to some of the rest that we're going to cover in the later albums and even on this album. And then we have a candle lit dinner with in uh, Morda. I think that's how you say that. Uh, they don't really play this one live. I've never seen them play this one live personally. I think I've looked it up on YouTube and I've never found it. Or maybe I found like a video of them before they got signed. They just don't really play this one live. And I've seen them live like five times or so and yeah this is a solid song it's kind of there with like um Elarion. it's 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 a good song it has a really really good chorus i mean other really than the chorus it's kind of doesn't it's not really anything to live for 
Uh, Nobody Don't Dance No More. I'm trying to remember this song. Um, I, yeah, honestly, I don't really remember this one all too well. So we're going to go with Matt for that one. And hey there, Mr. Brooks. This is an absolute freaking banger on the record. I think this is a very underrated song. They got Sean, I believe his name, from uh, Alasana to sing the chorus. Absolutely one of the best choruses they've ever written. It's 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 full of depth, and uh, this is a kind of a song. I think it's about serial killing. It, it sounds like a guy going through like a mental psychotic breakdown throughout the song. That's what I gather from it. But instrumentally, it's one of their best songs on the record. There's a lot of like quirky riffs and leads in it. It's it's really sick. Or Asia Zerdra. This is one of the more progressive sounding songs instrumentally on the record. I'm not saying it's prog. Yeah, honestly, I put this in silver. Hiatus. I was ah meh. Man, I just wasn't a big fan of it. It's nothing but trance throughout it. But again, I'm not a big enough fan of trance to listen to a whole entire track of trance and be like amused. But it's not horrible by any standards. I once rode two horses at once. Yeah, something like that. I, I'm very familiar with the song itself. The title kind of confuses me. These titles are very quirky, if you haven't noticed. Honestly, this goes into the gold tier. I, I go out of my way oftentimes to listen to this song. I I just think like the the lyric depth of this song is just so fucking I don't know like relatable you know like the chorus is like you said you'd run away it's just like it, it, there's something about that yeah it, it, that chorus and then just it, it's mostly the lyrics honestly in my opinion yeah and I I really like that riff that goes that 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 yeah at the beginning and then it. They did, they did. The next word that was Matt. Yeah, if you guys listen to it, you get it. Like, there's so many good riffs in, in this song, and you don't say that about Asking Zero too often, I feel. You know, at least I don't. And just a lot of catchy parts, even during like the scream parts. It's, it's, it's a dope song. Really, really good outro as well. I like the whoa, why does it end this way? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's, it's damn good. The single moment of sincerity is a really, really awesome song, too. I as well. I'm trying to remember how the intro goes, but I, I do remember, like, it, it does get a little bit, like, sort of riffy in this song. I think the chorus is really, really fucking good. What happened between us? Well, <laughs> yeah, sorry for the shitty singing. This song would go into silver for me. It, it's good. I really like the bridge, how it breaks down into not really like an open note breakdown, but. A more like soft part, you know, that kind of like has an acoustic guitar going and it kind of has like a Beatles esque to it. It's it, it, like, I'm not saying that they're the Beatles, they're definitely not, but like, just go to listen to it. It just, it's, it's just, it gives that song that much, like, it makes that song stand out so much because of that bridge. And then we have Not the Bearing Average, one of my favorites. This is, this is definitely a, like a gold song, one of my favorite Asking Answer songs, just in general. And, it's just about partying, basically, and having a good time. This is like a hair metal band, a Motley Crue, you know, Skid Row, uh, Poison, Rat kind of song, but uh, lyrically speaking, maybe, you know, that kind of vibe, but in a post-hardcore setting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of singing at the beginning. Uh, I really like Danny's kind of like hair metal kind of ish sounding vocals with like the mix of like the emo at the beginning. Really cool, clean, uh, a lot of cleans in it. Chorus is like super catchy. And, and then after the first chorus, it's basically just screaming the rest of the song until there's a bridge where Ben's singing again, just like in a single moment of sincerity. And it really like changes the song, but for the best. And it gives the song a lot of like, again, variety and really shows you that this band can be melodic and be sentimental as well in, in a song that is so not serious. And then it goes into a breakdown that is just very, very, like, I want to say generic and, and just, <laughs> it's pretty much just, um, being dominant in the bedroom is, I, I want to say is like what the ending breakdown is kind of giving me the vibe of. So yeah, it's, it's just a damn good song. It goes all over the place. It's, 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 it's definitely rad. I used to have a best friend and then they gave me an STD. That sucks. Sorry to hear that. And, um. Yeah, maybe wrap your willy, maybe ask them about their uh, history, or maybe just don't sleep with your friends. I don't know. Who knows? But <laughs> at the end of the day, this song has, like, I remember the chorus, like, I don't remember the words, but that's, like, the melody, sort of. 
Um, I'll give this song a bronze ranking because all I remember is the chorus off the top of my head. And then the prophecy. Now, like I said earlier in the video, this was the song that got me into them. This song's gold. It's just one of my favorite songs by them. Uh, the chorus is absolutely one of the best choruses I ever heard them write ever. The intro just just got me. I know uh, that da na 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 intro. It was actually the music video on like Headbangers Ball or some program like that back in the early 2010s that got me into it because I I saw the the track listing coming up for uh well not tr yeah I guess track listing and it said Asking and I was like ah oh, I don't like this band but whatever I'll give I'll keep it up in mind and. I really liked the music video, and for some reason, I when I listened to it this time, I was like, the song's actually really good. I'm like, there's a lot of a lot of going into this, a lot of motion, and a lot of good variety of like really good screams in this one. He goes really high, he kind of does a shouty vocal during the first verse, and then the chorus is absolutely amazing. I never really heard a chorus written such as a prophecies. And then the ending breakdown, you never say goodbye. Is just, it's, it's very deep, and it really, really touched me. So that gets a gold easily in my book. And then I was once possibly a Cowboy King. And this is one of my favorite songs on the record, honestly. So it's not going to go in the bronze mat or awful by any means. Um, but where does it go? Does it go in the gold or silver for me? I think this goes in the silver for me. It's just not quite on the tier as with these guys right here. It's not quite on that level with these guys. But... um. It's definitely got like a really, really cool chorus to it. Uh, I really like the opening breakdown of the song. Yeah, I think that's the rhythm. It's just really cool. And I like I like how the song just kind of starts off with these vocals like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just kind of more of like a shouty talky, but it's, it's kind of melodic at the same time. And then I like how the first verse goes into like. um. A shell of a boy of a man that I used to be. Yeah, yeah, like, like I really like that, like, kind of punky kind of verse there. And that goes into the breakdown, and the chorus is really cool. And then basically the rest of the song is a breakdown, but it's really cool with some trance kind of stuff going in the background. And then we have, last but not least, when every day is the weekend, wouldn't it be awesome if every day was the weekend? I know we all long for that, as I do, but uh, this song is absolutely really fucking cool as well. I think this song goes into silver for me, and that might surprise a lot of people, but I really actually think this song's really good. I really like the opening riff of the song. Uh, it just kind of seems like another party esque kind of song, kind of like the American, not the American average, just getting, you know, wild and getting the girls down into the bedroom and, you know, and whatnot, and, and yeah, I like the chorus. The chorus is... I, I know I've been complimenting a lot of courses, but there's a lot of really good courses on this record. And I would say that this is probably apart from like a prophecies, maybe the second best course in the song, perhaps. And yeah, and I like I just really like two nights all night, like every night before until we fall, repeat, repeat. Yeah, it just like there's something about that's just really catchy and I guess at the time, maybe I was partying a lot, a lot more when I first got into this music, so it really captured me. I'm not much of a partier now. I know I'm boring as shit, but um, it is what it is, and I really enjoy that song even when I still play it to this day. And that is going to be it. That is the last song on the record. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I really hope you enjoyed today's content. And if you'd like to see more Ask Xandria kind of content, let me know down in the comment section down below. And let me know also what you think of Ask Xandria's Stand Up and Scream record. Let me know what you think of my album to your ranking as well. Roast me in the comments down below. Feel free to say whatever you please. I do not mind. And if you guys would like to see me do more reactions, more tier lists just like this, or any kind of covers or any kind of impressions, let me know down in the comments section below what you guys would like to see. And I will see to it that your video gets done. Consider subscribing to the channel and ringing that notification bell so you guys know when my videos are coming up. I usually try to post twice a week at this given point, usually Wednesdays and Sundays at 3 p.m. East Coast time. And until further ado, guys, Jay Adams is out.